Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. So I have a favorites video for y'all. I have not filmed a favorites video and honestly don't even know how long. I don't know. But I have a lot of new favorites that I wanted to share with y'all. So yeah, let's just quit yapping and go ahead and jump into this. So the first thing I wanted to share with y'all is my face cleanser that I have been using non-stop it is the best if you know me and if you've like followed along with me um i have pleural dermatitis it is awful and it's just like this huge rash and mine gathers around right here and when it gets really bad it'll go around my chin around my nose around my eyes and it just basically covers my whole face so i had to switch a lot of my products and this was one of the things that i have learned to use consistently and this is Banny Cream Gentle Cleanser. This stuff is so nice. I like it so much better than Cetaphil or CeraVe. It's just so gentle. Um, this says it's free of dyes, lanolin, fragrance, masking fragrance, par parabens, formaldehyde, and other preservatives. And it's non-comedogenic. It's gluten-free, sulfate-free, soap-free. And it doesn't have a lot of ingredients. It just has, it's just very simple and I really, really like this. And I definitely recommend it if you have sensitive skin. I just wash my face twice with this every night and I wash it with this in the morning. And I've really, really been enjoying this and it has cleared up my pearl dermatitis, so. Okay, the next thing I wanted to share with y'all is my favorite facial oil. This is the Rosehip Oil, a USDA Organic. I, I got this off of Amazon. I really, really like it. When it comes out, I'll show y'all. It's like straight up orange. That's what it looks like. It's And it'll show up orange on your face too. But it really, really works. You can see I've had this a while and it's just right there. I only use like this much every night. Hold on, I'll show you. I use like that much on my face and it covers my whole entire face and neck. This says it contains essential fatty acids. Oh, y'all, I can't talk. It contains essential fatty acids which help rejuvenate the skin and protect from premature aging. Used to naturally tone the skin, reduce wrinkles, heal, heal scarring, and improve the skin's moisture level levels. Okay, talk. But it is organic and cruelty free and this last six months has a little jar that says six months. Which I'm glad I looked at that because I feel like I've had this for a while. I'll have to look to see how long I've had this. <laughs> but... It's 100% pure and natural rose hip oil, and I definitely recommend it. And even if you have oily skin, I recommend it. It is great, and it has healed up a lot of my dark spots and um, scars. And then I wanted to show y'all my deodorant. I was using a rose deodorant that was natural, and I don't remember the name of it, but I absolutely loved it. It was like rose and vanilla, and it smelled so good. But after a couple months of using it, I started getting a rash underneath my armpits. And... Not yet. Okay, darling. So after a couple months of using it, I got really bad like rash underneath my arms and it would just not go away. And so once I switched the deodorants, it went away. So unfortunately, I developed like some kind of reaction to it. So I switched to native deodorant. And it is aluminum free and paraben free. And this is the coconut and vanilla scent. It does not smell near as good as the rose one, but it does smell pretty good and it works and I like it and I have no rash anymore so that's really all that matters to me now let's get into makeup for makeup I have found my new favorite foundation combo that it's not drugstore which y'all know I love drugstore I used to use this all the time the Too Faced Hangover RX primer and it's just really really moisturizing but when I ran out of it I never repurchased really and I just moved on to other things because I love to try new things and so I repurchased this and I'm back obsessed with it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this is just a replenishing face primer. It has coconut water in it and it's silicone free and it just nourishes your skin for makeup and I've just been really, really liking it. And then I have a new favorite foundation. I never thought that I would try this, but this is the Too Faced Born This Way. And I really like this because it comes with a pump. But this is a medium to full coverage foundation. It just looks so pretty on the skin. I used to love Estee Lauder Double Wear. And that was like my go-to favorite foundation. And then I ran out of that. And I was like, you know what? I want to try something else. And so I posted this on my Instagram. And I said, um, have any of y'all tried this? Do you recommend it? And like 99.9% .9 of y'all was like, yes, go get it. You'll love it. 
and so yeah I've been loving it it's been so beautiful it's, it's not what I have on right now because I just filmed a drugstore tutorial but it is so pretty and it's so worth your money um, it's not as matte as the Estee Lauder Double Wear and that's why I really like it because this is more of a natural finish and I just really really like it it's very very pretty okay so next I've really been liking my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer it's all I use I use it on my clients I use it on myself it smells amazing it's a, what I have on today it's a perfect color it's not too orange and it comes in different shades and mine's just the shade bronzer and this is the only um, bronzer that lasts on my skin like Too Faced chocolate bar bronzer or whatever that one fades throughout the day and this one really really lasts if I and it's buildable and I like to build it up okay the next thing that I tried that I've really been liking is the makeup revolution concealer this is the Conceal, Conceal and Define. This is shade C6. I really, really like this. It's what I have underneath my eyes today. I just think it looks really pretty. And I love the applicator. It's like this huge doe foot. And it's just a really good formula. And it's like six bucks. So you can't beat it. Next, I'm going to talk about this stunning highlight that I have on right now. This is by Pixi. And it is in the shade Subtle Sunrise. Y'all, this is so, so pretty. I'm obsessed with with the formula of this I mean that's one swipe and they last forever on my skin and they're blinding and I just think they are so pretty I love it and I know that this is a little bit pricier for drugstore but it's so worth it I have different shades but this is my favorite and again that is subtle sunrise next I've really been liking this Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder is in the shade fair light it's the second to lightest shade they have fair they have fair light they have light and they have medium and they have darker shades too for darker skin tones and i just really really like this i use it to set my under eyes and i think it does a great job it's very similar to laura mercier to me so yeah i just like to save the extra bucks this is like five dollars and i don't feel like it has a lot of product because i've gone through it pretty quickly but i do use it every day it's really nice I definitely recommend it if you haven't tried this and you're looking for a drugstore option. I wanted to show y'all my two favorite drugstore lipsticks right now. They are both from Maybelline. Maybelline is like my favorite drugstore brand, I think. This is Daringly Nude. It's what I have right now on under this lip gloss. It's this shade right here. It is so pretty. I'll swatch it for you. And this is like their matte formula. I mean, I just love the color. It's such a pretty color. And then I love their matte formula. It is so hydrating. It's not It's not going to suck the life out of your lips. And then this is, I'm not sure what formula this is. It's the color Sensational. It's not the matte. It comes in this little top. And this is Blushing Beige. And this is just more of a glossy finish. You'll be able to tell on the swatch. Just has a little bit more shine to it. But both of these are just so pretty. If y'all have never heard of Dr. Bronner's, they have some amazing soaps for your skin that are organic and more natural. I've been trying to switch over some stuff just because I know it's not very healthy to be using all those chemicals on my body. So I was at Target and I had the little section that has like the little samples, like the mini micellar water and like face masks and stuff. And I saw this and I just had to have it. This is the Dr. Bronner's um, lip balm. And they have different um, flavors. This is in the shade, or this is in the flavor Naked. And this says it is USDA organic. No, it's just a regular old lip balm, but I just thought I'd mention it. Next, I wanted to share my favorite mascara. That's one of the questions I get asked a lot is what is your favorite drugstore mascara? And that is, you can play with that. Yes. Uh -huh. And it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Slash Paradise. I love this. It's very lengthening. It's what I have on right now. And I always get waterproof mascara because it transfers underneath my eyes if it's not waterproof and on top of my eyelids because my eyes are so hooded and I cannot be dealing with that. I filmed this part three times. The first time my camera overheated. The second time I sat here and talked about it and I didn't have record on so. Anyways, that's the devil not want me to talk about this. I have two devotional books that I want to talk about. I've just been trying to just take... A little bit just you know 10 minutes out of my morning just to sit on the bed by myself and just read these devotions and just have that time um, so the first one I've been reading and liking is called Jesus Calling and this is just a devotion for every single day of the year and it just really changes your whole day it just helps you to be more patient and I just really 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 like 
reading these in the morning I can tell a difference just with my whole over attitude for the day so I really really like this one it's really really good and it always seems to like know exactly what I need to hear like it always just says it's just spot on you know what I mean and then this one I really like this one it's really cute too and so this one says new day new you 366 devotions for enjoying everyday life and this is by Joyce Meyer it says, in New Day, New You, Joyce stresses the importance of spending even a few minutes every morning with God. Beginning each day this way is an important an opportunity to get off on the right foot and set a positive tone. And I definitely agree. It really does change your mood. So, this is this morning's. It says, let God pay you back. And it's just a little bit longer than the other one. But I do read both every morning because I get something different from both of them. And I really, really like it. So I just wanted to mention those if you're looking for a good devotional. Because as a mom, it's hard to just sit down and just do something for yourself. And it's just really important to spend that time. And so I just wanted to mention that. So yeah, I think that that is everything that I have to tell y'all about. But please let me know what future videos that y'all want to see. I really want to get back on my YouTube game. I love YouTube. It's like makes me so happy. And I love editing. editing. It's really fun for me. But thank y'all for watching. And I hope that y'all have found you some new favorites that you're going to go try. If you have any future video requests, please comment them down below. If you have any questions, please comment them. And I will be happy to answer those for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. And I will see y'all in my next video.